right. This process is ridiculous. Yep. God moves in mysterious ways, Father. Indeed. And the devil makes work for idle hands, Mr. Stobart. Mm -hmm. Shh! Stobart, you are supposed to be dead. Please be dead more quietly. God damn it. I tried to tell Nave the truth about his bloodstain. Didn't he believe you? You're a man of God. His faith is in science, Mr. Stobart, not God. Mm-hmm. Father? Yes, my son. Okay, now we can talk to him. We got a lot to say, actually. Do you think the machine will give the inspector some insight into Henri's murder? He will find the answers he seeks, but he asks the wrong questions. This was no ordinary murder. Do you think Inspector Nave will ever figure this out? I'm not sure, although I'm no expert. Yeah, neither is he by the looks of it. You keep talking about the Gnostics. Who are they? They are a cult. A warped branch of Christianity Good. that reveres Lucifer as equal to, or perhaps greater than, God. I can see how that might trouble the Vatican. The Vatican is the least of your worries. Please be quiet! <laughs> Fuck you. Last time we met, you said the stolen painting was evil. Let me explain. I'm a Dominican, Mr. Stobart. The Dominican Order was founded to seek out and destroy heresy. Why? Because heresy is evil. Alright. Okay. For a thousand years we have fought against heresy. Indeed, our enemies gave us a nickname, the Hounds of God. Dominicanis, Dominican. You see? Very clever. Now this painting, the Manedictio, is without doubt heretical. Whoa, ho hold on. How can a painting be heretical? Because it is filled with Gnostic imagery. And Gnostics are heretics. What kind of imagery? Evil imagery. The Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail. Yep. Images of false saints, heretical saints. So you think the painting itself is evil? It trails murder in its wake, Mr. Stobart. Oh, and yeah. murder is police work, Monsieur. Silence, please, both of you. Fuck's sake, fuck up. The Ouroboros, what exactly is it? It is a Gnostic symbol. It marks something that is hidden. There are trees illustrated within the Ouroboros. They symbolize knowledge. So the Ouroboros alludes to hidden knowledge. Huh. Painting must be destroyed to stop this knowledge being revealed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first set of results completed. Only 36 more to do. Please really? remain in position while we reset the machines. You may relax and talk amongst yourselves. Who are these false saints? Gnostic saints, not beatified by the church. They question orthodoxy. Lure the unwary down dark paths of forbidden knowledge and condemn innocent souls to the fires of damnation. You mean like a Black Sabbath album? <laughs> well, uh, how about this coin? Take a look at this, Father. That is of no interest to me. Okay. Uh, how about this? Vade Retro Satana. What? What's the matter? It is worse than I thought. What is it? It's just a sketch. Not just a sketch. The painting. Oh boy. I wondered if it was something I had said. I have to get out of here. Now. Father Simeon, I forbid you to leave. This is an official investigation. Don't you understand? A great evil is upon us. Painting is evil. The heretical Gnostics in league with the devil himself. The devil? Don't you understand? The tabula veritatis, the tablet of truth, 
it is real. Well, well. Someone is upset. Pressing your witnesses a little too hard, Inspector Nave. <laughs> and you are? This is official police business. Richard Langham, Interpol, serious art theft. We spoke on the phone, Inspector. Ah, yes, sir. Um, huh. you didn't say you would be attending my crime scene. What exactly is this machine, Inspector? <laughs> A little invention of mine, Monsieur Langham. It will compute whose blood this is on the floor, and... Not to worry, Inspector. Perhaps you could move aside? I'm intrigued to see what you're up to. Yeah. Ah, of course. It is rather groundbreaking. Yes. And then... Pizza box. Hmm. It looks like your suspect was a Hawaiian, Inspector. A Hawaiian? Mon Dieu! Mo! Get on to the Hawaiian Embassy straight away! There Fuck's is a sake. surf killer on the loose! Alert the airports! Oh. And the surf shops! Sorry, Inspector. I mean... Hawaiian pizza? Your blood stain is a pizza sauce. Yeah. Pizza? Mo! You fool! Forget the surf shops. Get onto the Italian embassy. This has mafia written all over it. Leave me alone. Nah, Inspector, if you don't mind, I'd like to speak to your witnesses. And in the meantime, perhaps you should try and get your priest back. Madame Collard, Mr. Stobart, I assume. Can I buy you chaps a coffee? Langham sound a little more on the ball. Yep. Maybe he'd bring a dose of common sense to the case. Hopefully. So, Inspector Nave brought me up to speed and told me about you guys. I can guess what he said. But what's your interest in the robbery? I've been tracking a gang of art thieves for some time, and this looked like a good lead. But Nave is worse than useless. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you might be able to help. We have flattered. Just doing our jobs. We all are, or at least, trying to. So, maybe we can help each other. I gather you insured the exhibition. Mm-hmm. That's right, and uh, we're liable to lose a packet. Yeah. Any leads so far? Maybe. There's a Russian guy called Madovsky who turns out to be the owner of the painting. Madovsky? You know him? Oligarch, oil, art, aluminium. Ex-KGB. Very nasty. You need to be careful. Madovsky's dangerous. He kills anyone who gets in his way. For a well, cop, Fossey. Langham seemed okay. Trouble with doing deals with cops, there's usually a payback down the line. Mm -hmm. But I figured that'd be a price worth paying to bring down Madovsky. We found evidence that links Madovsky to the company that installed the security at the gallery. Hmm. Interesting. And one of his men, Guy called Shears, was in Paris on the day of the robbery. Really? We also found a letter from someone called Gainan wanting to buy the painting from Madovsky. Gainan? The name rings a bell? Did you find anything else about him? No, we were in a hurry. What about the priest? Ah, the good Father Simeon. Well, something spooked him, that's for sure. So I gather. Mm -hmm. He kept saying La Maledizio was evil. Perhaps he's right. It certainly caused evil, hasn't it? Yeah. I'll take leads from anyone, Mr. Stobart, even a crazy priest. Good. Let's keep in touch. Thank you for your help. No problem. Coffee's on me, or rather, on Interpol. Yusuf, I've been Ms. the best cop. Mr. Stobart. That's out of me. We were still the best. So, George, what do you think? Interesting. He seems to be on top of things. I agree. You know, Nico, 
This could start getting dangerous. Doesn't it always? You think Langham's right about Madovsky? Well, he appears to be on the ball. I thought he was cute. <laughs> he was English, Nico. They're all cute to you. <laughs> <laughs> he done depths too. Oh yeah? Well, what about my hidden depths? You showed me those long ago, Georges. Yeah. Well, I'm off home to write up the story so far. You? I have to see a woman about a dog. A stuffed dog, that is. You're talking riddles again, Georges. I need to pay Bijou another visit. She's not been completely honest with me. Let's go see Bijou. Bijou had told me she didn't have anything to do with the business. But Lane said the opposite. One of them was lying. Mm -hmm. yes. Bijou, it's George again. Huh. That was quick. The air was heavy with incense and alcohol. Oh boy. Reminded me of the old alma mater. What happened? Josh, please help me. I am lost. There was a smashed record on the floor. Oh boy. Oh, help me. You must help me. What's wrong, Bijou? I can't play our song. I've lost Henri and now our song. You mean the record? How did it happen? I stumbled and trod on it by mistake. Well then. What song was it, Bijou? I'm lost without it. Lost, lost. The name of the song, Bijou. Jasmine. It was our song. I'll see what I can do. Please help me. We'll have to figure something out with the song. Can't really do anything the there. was just across the road. Nice. But we can't really do anything with the, uh, the song right now. We only have this location available to us. I arrived back at the shopping arcade. Maybe some can help us out here. Hopefully. I'm really hopeful. Hey, Bassam, how's business? Good to see you, George. Gotta say, the new branding's hitting the demographic right between the eyes. Sold anything? This is a soft market, George. Look to the margins. Look to the margins. Mm hmm. What's your latest bargain? Bargain? I prefer the word incentivizer, George. Look at the store. Something for everyone, and everything for someone. Okay. Thank you. Let's look. I had a closer look at Bassam's stock. Check it out, George. I've had quite a stock update, and I've got to say the metrics on some of this stuff is startling. Really? Bobbins and threads. The stock range on the stall was impressive. Uh, books. There was a stack of books, but all in Greek from the looks of it. Okay. What are those things? Oil pots, all empty. Not what I've used to me so far. Nice selection of sandwiches you have. That's actually my lunch, George. Oh. Well, there is this. They looked interesting. A stack of those cards that play music when you open them. I had a feeling that Bassam was going to make a success of his business. Yeah, it seems like it. George, what can I do for you? About the uh, musical cards. Does one of your cards play the song Jasmine? Hmm, sounds familiar. Let me check the database. In my brain. I think that's by the Hairy Lobsters. Bassam certainly knew his stock. Aha! Here it is. How ah. much? It's yours. If you mention my shop to three other people. 
Done. Thanks. Well, Thank that's you. easy. Now then, we have what we need. And that's locked out, so it's just Bijou now. Right, let's use the intercom. Bijou, it's George again. Right. Let me go ahead and take this. Stealing a flower from a corpse. How low had I sunk? Really do anything else right now, but I'll take that flower just in case. And let's use the musical car on the stereo. I needed a better idea. Okay, let's use it on her then. How about this card? It plays the tune. And you put on the stereo for me. Thanks, George. Oh, so. Oh, how wonderful. Dance with me, Henri. Uh, okay. I found myself at Bijou's well-equipped dressing table. A picture of Henri had pride of place. I grabbed a strip. Prepare for wax. Ooh. Hang on. Let's use this wax on the dog. Cause I'm an asshole. Sorry, Fifi. I'll see you in Rio. And there we go. Right. Now to begin. Hmm. I wondered if red was my color. Nope. Too bright. I needed a more subtle color. Uh, I once painted my toenails with my mother's varnish. Still not sure why that made her cry so much. I decided to clean my face and start again. Yeah. I daubed some rouge on my cheeks. Yep, I'll do. Uh, let's see. I didn't want it on my eyes, but perhaps a slight dusting. My hair was now the same color as Henri's. Time to bring Henri back to life. Henri had more facial hair than me. I needed a brown goatee. Well, we have some mums in inventory. With my mouth firmly closed, I added the wax strip to my upper lip. Instant goatee. Mm. Looking good, but not quite there yet. It was hard to see the color of Henri's eyes behind the glasses. Well... I added Henri's glasses. I looked more and more like a gallery owner. It was working, but I needed something else. I needed to flower power my outfit. <laughs> power my outfit. Okay. Well, I got a flower here. Let's, uh... Put on a buttonhole. I added Henri's flower to my buttonhole. The jasmine definitely gave me that perfect hippie vibe. Getting there, but I needed a little more. I had the outfit exactly, but I needed something extra to ensnare the senses. I got just what you need. Shitty perfume. I added Henri's breath to my disguise. Made my eyes water. Hmm. That wasn't working. I was looking more like Bijou than Henri. Hmm. Okay, forget about the rogue blush then. Let's go ahead and try working, this again. But I needed something else. Henri had more. Yeah, I yeah. needed a. Let's put the white I added on. Henri. The jet. It was hard to see the. Yeah, yeah. Put the perfume on. I added on. It was working. Put on the glasses. I added. I. And 
and put on the beard. Instant goatee. There. As I looked into the mirror, I saw Henri looking back at me. Did it. Henri, there you are, you naughty boy. Dance with me, my little roll mop. I've missed you. With pleasure, Cherie. Henri, isn't this wonderful? Just like old times. Bijou, darling, I need the safe key. Do you have it? Of course. Didn't I promise? Here it is, sweetie. Better let her sleep. I had the key. <laughs> and besides, I wanted to get my hands on that letter of provenance. Now it's time. I was surprised to see Father Simeon at the cafe. George, a moment, if you please. Okay. Is everything all right, Father? No, my son. Not at all. Great evil is upon us. Why is that? That sketch you showed me in the gallery. The study from La Maledictio. It showed an image hidden inside the Ouroboros. A dangerous image. Dangerous? The symbol represents a heresy. An object that the Gnostics call the Tabula Veritatis. The Tablet of Truth? It is a tablet of lies, a tool of Lucifer. Let's, uh, we have a lot of options here. Tell me more about this tabula veritatis. It is an artifact capable of undoing the whole of creation. It was smuggled out of the Holy Land millennia ago and brought to Europe by the Cathars, an evil Gnostic cult. In 1209, the church launched a glorious crusade in the Cathar heartlands of southern France. We wiped out almost all the Cathars, and with them, the evil that is Gnosticism. My order, the Dominicans, were formed at that time to seek out and eradicate any remaining Gnostics. But we failed in our primary objective. We did not find the Tabula Veritatis. We presumed it lost, but the painting suggests it is still in Gnostic hands. Interesting. Now we have more options. How is La Maledictio connected to all this? I believe it contains clues that point to the location of the tablet. Clues constructed for a Gnostic to solve. If someone were to decrypt the painting and find the tabula veritatis, who knows what evil would be unleashed upon the world. So, you're suggesting that this image of the Tabula Veritatis is hidden in the Ouroboros on the painting? It is obvious now. The Ouroboros is a symbol of the Gnostics. And the tree it contained symbolized knowledge. Hidden Gnostic knowledge. Interesting. Were the Cathars all killed? All that came forward to fight. But like a weed, their roots were deep. We did not fully destroy their evil. Hmm. I still don't get why the Gnostics are so evil. They see God as simply the creator of the physical world, and reveal Lucifer as the lord of the spiritual realm. Wow. Huh. What's so terrible about this tablet? What, what does it do? 
at Lucifer himself. The Gnostics could be anywhere. We must talk somewhere more private. Uh, thank you, Father. That was some story. Be careful. Guard this knowledge. There are those who would do anything to find the tabula. Please excuse me. I have to get back to the gallery. I will remain here and follow you when no one is looking. I have more I must tell you. Okay, then. I had to get into the gallery and find the provenance, but I was really looking forward to hearing what else Father Simeon had to tell me. The door was locked. Well... Yeah. Alright, let's go inside, shall we? Right, Time let's... to look in the safe. Yep, let's touch the dick. I opened the compartment again. And now it's time to see what's inside the safe. Hello. A note was attached to the front of a document wallet. It read, Sherry, this should do the trick. Your darling Wilfie. Now why would Hobbes be sending romantic little notes to Bijou? The ring had an inscription. Henri and Bijou forever. Huh. Henri had bought Bijou a big diamond ring. Hmm. I had a feeling the ring would be useful. Yep. That had to be the elusive provenance. Ha <laughs> ha. It clearly stated that Madovsky was the owner. But I'd learned never to take things at face value. I had to take a closer look at this. Let's have a look at shall we? At first glance, the provenance looked authentic, but something wasn't right. Doesn't matter what way you look at it. And again. The two documents didn't match. Huh. The sketch was drawn on similar paper to the provenance. Interesting. Wait. The coffee cup stains matched exactly, as did the tear. The provenance must have been created by Hobbes. It was a fake, which meant Madovsky wasn't the true owner. Oh, shit. I had to get out there and find out what happened. Fuck. The glass was reinforced for sure. I wouldn't be able to smash it and it wasn't going to open. But there had to be a way of getting through it. Well, nail clippers. That was never going to work. Okay. Uh, the diamond ring. The diamond ring was just what I needed to cut through the glass. Right, what's blocking that damn door? Oh, no. Father? No sticks. You must stop them. Who did this, Simeon? Don't let them. The tablet. They are going to raise the devil. Lucifer himself. No! Those were his last words. First Henri, now Simeon. Who was behind this? And what was Simeon trying to tell me? Simeon had been carrying a scan of an old manuscript with a covering note. Both were written in Latin. Well, let's have a look at it. Fortunately, I hadn't forgot the Latin I'd learned at school. The note read, The tabula veritatis only appears in one file. The Inquisition into Heretical Depravity by Nicholas Emmerich, A.D. 1376. Scan attached. 
The note was signed by the vice prefect of the Vatican archives. Simeon must have done some digging after he recognized the symbol on Hobbes's sketch. Huh. Let's have a look at this manuscript. It was a photocopy of an old Latin text. Although a bit rusty, my Latin was still up to the job. It read, And thus spoke the accused. In this ritual we find succor. Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, toward the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, the credentes look the other way, towards the setting sun, where stands the tree of life. And all shall know that the light of knowledge is blue and that the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. Pure light, white light, pure light will win. So it was written in the old texts, affirmed by the tabula veritatis. And these were the accused's last words. It was powerful stuff. I wondered how it connected to La Maledexile. The illustration showed a group of colored figures engaged in some sort of ritual. The blue and green figures appeared to be in control. The crowd in the foreground were colored red. I guessed it was a representation of the ritual in the text. Hmm. My God, what have you done? Huh? It's not me. I know this looks like... Like you've been caught red-handed. Excuse me. It's like, what? Nico, hang on. Lane, it's not what it looks like. Murdering a priest, Stobart? Is there no end to your depravity? It's a simple misunderstanding. Look, I need to go. I'll be at Nico's apartment. God, what happens? Nico! In here. Oh, for fuck's sake! No! Oh, hi, Georges. I thought you were being attacked. When I arrived, there was someone here. He rushed me, knocked me down. Did you get a look at him? No. It happened so quick, and then he was gone. What a mess. This blood. Where's Marquez? I don't know. He must be badly hurt. Or dead. Not another killing. God damn it. What do you mean? I just came from the gallery. Father Simeon's been shot. My God! Who did it? I don't know. But before he died, he begged me to stop the Gnostics from raising the devil. The devil? Whoever's doing the killing, Georges, it's certainly not him. Okay, but who? Simeon and Marquez were both attacked at the same time. Just what are we up against? 